Okay, hey, what's up everybody? Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Narn. Uh, I'm just going to show you his paint job and then I'm going to talk about his tactics a little bit. So I'll just um, give him the 360 here. Uh, yep, that's about it. Uh, I like to paint in cloaks a lot, so that's pretty fun. There was a lot of blending and whatnot. My light source isn't that good, so it's not... There, I guess I can zoom in. There you go. So you can see a bit of the blending work I did, like wet, wet blending. Oh, it's out of focus. There you go. Uh, a lot of stuff I learned from awesomepaintjobs.com. It's awesome YouTube, YouTube source for painting. Uh, let's see if I can get some of the detail in this dude's face. It's got to hold still here. Oh, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Anyways, oh, there we go. So, um, yeah, that's my model. Um, this weekend that just finished, I entered a tournament for uh, War Machine. I played a Retribution Army. And I got owned. I didn't do... Yeah, I didn't win a single game. I went 0-3. It was, it was really depressing. I didn't even score a single... Um, Scenario point or anything. I <laughs> I don't even think I killed an attack. No, I must have killed a, like what, a couple units, but I, I just sucked. Anyways, so I want to talk about Narn. I used him in the tournament, and uh, I hadn't. Pl I before tournament I hadn't played like I had played like a handful of War Machine games, so I'm still learning. I just wanted to uh, tell you guys how I kind of perceive Narn as a unit and how I use him and see if anyone can give me any um, feedback because I obviously used him pretty poorly. So um, the way I used him was I basically like advanced deployment, deploymented him on the sides of the map and used him kind of to flank my opponent. Mostly as a distraction, he can't really do anything. I, I put him next to his stats so I can just kind of show you guys his stats in case... Uh, here he's got a special ability where he can move through other models. Um, he's got this one where magic and any kind of like booster boosters don't work don't uh, affect his opponents when he attacks them. And then sprint, uh, yeah, not really sure how that one works. Yeah, so that's it. He's got. Two close combat attacks, our power and strength, 11, not bad. His point cost is kind of high for a solo because he's a character solo. Here's a badass picture of him in the book. That's a badass picture. He looks just cool. Anyways, so back to Narn about his tactics. I used him to flank my opponents um, and basically try to assassinate the Warcaster. But usually I, I was playing with quite a few... Um, Griffins that they move quite like they're really fast. They have a really far distance. They can charge, uh, and you can boost their speed uh, a number of different ways using my Warcaster, who is uh, Viros, Dawn Lord Viros, who can cast the spell Mobility, and then I can also boost their speed so they can charge at like I don't know. I think their char. I think the charges I was getting was like around 11 or 12 inch charges, so they're pretty decent. So usually I try and like uh, slow down my opponent's war jacks and units with my other war jacks, and then I usually try and get like a griffin or two to charge the warcaster and Narn here, and just kind of go for broke and try and take out my opponent's warcaster. And it almost it never worked. Like I I lost three times in a row. So if anyone can. May, uh, perhaps like you know trying to attack my opponent's warcasters with this guy isn't the best call for him I think next time I play I'm just going to use him to maybe I don't know attack other units like just infantry units or mess around with the war other like my opponent's light warjacks I don't know really what to use him, use him for so just leave me some feedback if anyone's got some tactics, they can tell me, make a video, or do whatever. Yeah, let's talk with this dude. Um, I'm new to war. I'm new to war machine, so there might be something I'm just totally overlooking about how to use this. So yeah, uh, let's see. Let's hear some feedback. See you guys later.